If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the 11 p.m. Blitz offers. They did just get released. I'm going to be going over the 12 one as well. And let's just kind of go over my thoughts and some stuff coming out later on because I won't be able to do the second video. But. If you guys already know, there is a schedule posted on social media, on Twitter, of course, but it's much easier, honestly, to go through it this way. The schedule looks way more confusing than it actually is. This is really the easier way to do it. This one goes all the way up until 1126, and then, of course, as things release, they will start showing the later ones, of course, right? So, currently, a lot of good stuff on the, a lot of good stuff on the docket, right? So, for the rest of today, right, which is the next hour, we just got the Team of the Week 1500 point pack. That's a 91 overall, 91 plus overall Team of the Week player. So I'm assuming that's going to be, you know, that could be any of them. I'm assuming that includes the LTTs, but only, that's only one. Now, if we look at the value, 93, 93 plus is 19%. It's actually not horrible. Now, let's just go check out if it's worth it. So that's going to be approximately like 13, 14 bucks. If you have EA access, 15 if you don't. So let's go see what you can potentially get out of that, like on a coin basis. Um, I'd say you'd have to at least get 100K for it to be profitable, in my opinion. Maybe, maybe a bit more. At least, right? I mean, and even then, it's still like whatever. Um, I don't think it's a it's not a great one, but I don't think it's a bad one Because it's not gonna be anything crazy exciting now before by, by the way guys If you guys are new to the channel that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always And of course comment down below Let me know what you guys think so far for the blitz and of course if you guys will check out underdog fantasy and make some lines Head on down below to my code You will see a code in the link if you use that you will get up to a free 100 bucks on your first deposit So let's go. Let's go filter this out by 90 90 91 here So the cheapest is gonna be at a let's see these are 90s or the 91s You could potentially get a 55k player now, the new packs are not going to help with that, as you can see. So, there's a chance you should get a 55k player. Now, let's see what the more positive range of outcomes is here. 80k minimum. So, you're looking at probably, like, no more. You're, not, you're looking at, like, 100k, like, if you're lucky. Um, what are some high ones you could really hit? I guess you can pull some LTDs, potentially. Let's see. Uh, I mean, there's still some high ones. I mean, there's still a chance to get, like, 300k. But, realistically, it's going to be really tough. It's going to be really tough to actually make a really good value here. Now, you get 50k, that means that you're pretty much spending 15 bucks for 50k. Not really worth it when like you could spend 50 bucks and like a million on my sponsor. So like Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't I don't think this pack's great. I think if you have loose points and you want to open them all. Like if you need the blitz, but remember that's another key thing. If you need if you want to go ahead and get the Bojack, well the, the final card, sorry. The Bo Jackson, right? You want to go ahead and do all that. You're gonna need 15,000 here. So you're gonna have to go ahead and collect things that give you blitz bits, and I, it doesn't look like this one actually does give it. So maybe that wouldn't even matter. But point is, do keep in mind a lot of offers that if you're gonna want to go ahead and collect the blitz bits, you're gonna want to go ahead and make sure you're doing things that actually give you a chance. Do like a head start one here, just some extra bits. Now, if you needed, if you want to get bow, by the way, right? So this is gonna be the bow that comes out at around well, that's 12 a.m., which is gonna be tonight at midnight, right? This is gonna be the bow. So this bow here specifically needs 15,000 blitz bits. So technically. If you open up this bundle, if you open up all of them, you'd be getting there. So pretty much you'd have to spend about a hundred bucks, which I guess isn't crazy. I mean, again, guys, if you don't want to spend money, it's, it's going to be impossible for you to actually go ahead and do a lot of stuff because there's blitz bits and there's blitz tickets. So you to get bow, you need the tickets. So you have to convert, right? So that's going to be the thing. So again, it comes down to what you guys think in terms of like how much money you're willing to spend. I personally don't really like touching the blitz too much money wise. I mean, it is what it is. If you're if you're a guy that actually wants to grind it up, sometimes buying the players is just a better value. But it's still fun. It's fun. To, it's fun to log on, fun to see the offers, and sometimes you have some money just sitting there, and it makes it like a, it's a very fun experience to go ahead and actually go do that. Now this Bo Jackson, you guys didn't see, you're gonna want this bow. You're gonna want this Bo Jackson. He's gonna be really, really, really good, especially with next gen mechanics. Now I personally play really bad with Bo Jackson, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people love Bo Jackson. I just play really bad with him. I think it's because he's oversized to an extent, where like he's like really tall. But he doesn't have the craziest weight. I know. I just never play with I just never play well with Bo Jackson. But he's gonna be coming out. Now I do want to go over the strong safety bow from earlier as well in a second that we people probably heard about already. But um point is 91 overall team of the week player pack, pick one of two. You get two choices, so obviously there's a chance you could get a, you could hit on the second one. But in my opinion, not a great pack. The ceiling's decent. The ceiling could be up to 300 k right? Maybe a little bit more. Well, more obviously, because you can get 93 plus. The ceiling's up to the ceiling's high, right? But the floor is really low. Like you could pull that 47k, 50k player I just saw and just 
fifteen dollars is not worth forty seven K. That's like a reduction. Like that's what you lose when you sell an expensive player. That's just like paying off reduction. It's like getting the tax off on the bill. It's really nothing crazy. The bow one, of course, is gonna be good, but that's not really a real offer. That's more of a player that's gonna take a little bit to actually get. This one here looks pretty decent, but that's gonna be the 8 a.m. one that I will be going over and everything else. Right? Oh, that's 12 a.m. one, sorry. I'll be going over that as well in the morning. But let's head over to the free bow. Uh, there's a free strong safety bow Jackson, which is actually really insane. He comes to stock with abilities similar to a superstar kill player. He's a safety, he's gonna be tall, he's gonna be big. I mean, he's cool. It's, it's a good card. And uh Make sure you guys are going into playing this stuff because you do get free blitz bits. So you, over here you get the 91 overall Daniel Jones pack or a blitz bits. Or you can get, again, the Daniel Jones pack with the blitz bits, Daniel Jones pack with the blitz bits, going so on and so forth, right? I would recommend you go ahead and you get all the stuff done because that's just some easy free stuff. You get the, this one right here, which is going to be free blitz bits as well. And then you have the NCAT Bo Jackson safety right there, which is super cool, which is why I recommend you go hop into that. And then remember, these go away on... These 10 challenges will be reset each day. So if you don't play these, you're going to miss them. These will only be available for eight hours. You're going to miss them. And then there's the intro blitz, which is going to be just the regular introductory blitz things that I don't think go away to the end. Yes, about 30. So make sure this is just, just recapping everything that I did miss, obviously, earlier. A lot of good stuff here. A lot of good stuff coming out with the blitz, which is why I recommend. I mean, it's just, it's just tough, right? I mean, the list of doing it like on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that means that you will be able to go ahead and do it at a time when hopefully you could be home. But it's just, you know, it's just tough. Like, do you really want to be up at 8 a.m.? Like, you know, like you have work or after Thanksgiving night, midnight, coming back around 4 p.m., you know, 8 p.m. Like, it's just, it's tough for most people to actually sit here and do it, which is why we do it for you. We show you what it is. Is it worth it? Is it worthwhile? Which is what I recommend, by the way, in the morning or at night when you have time, I'd recommend checking the schedule thoroughly. Know what you want to be there for, right? Because obviously, you can, if you came tonight around midnight right now, you would just notice that it's just a team of the week pack. You're like, okay, this wasn't worth it. But, what if it's like some limited drop that like a player that you really want or something that you really want to get? Make sure you're around for that one. But definitely take a look at the schedule. They make it super easy for people like that now. I used to like the surprise aspect of it. But at the same time, I get it from like a, a realistic practical standpoint for most people. It's a lot better if you can just sit there and know what's going to be there. So you don't have to actually, you don't have to actually sit there. You can just sit there, check the schedule out, hop off versus coming in every four hours, 12 hours, right? For every specific offer and just being like, up oh, trash wasn't worth Or staying up to midnight, right? Like let's say you want to go to bed early and you got to stay up or you set an alarm. Just a lot easier, but guys, better for the video. That pretty much covers tonight's drop. I will be back in the morning, of course. If you guys need the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, the link will be down below in the description, as well as the code, everything else you need to use to get your free 100 bucks, up to 100 bucks, I should say. If you guys need coins to pick up some of these players, of course, there will be some players on the block, as you guys see that they start having their stuff popping up as of tomorrow. Um, you know, the boat usually takes time because you have to convert all the tickets. Sometimes it's not possible to get them to like the 25th, 22nd offer, right? Give or take. Just like, you know, making up random figures there. But yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the Blitz. You know, get some sleep tonight because you're going to have a long day tomorrow of checking out offers. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.